30 tonight, Boston inspectors want landlords across the city to do something after bricks fell off of a South End apartment building. And the bricks hit a woman who was walking by. WBZ's Jim Smith is live in the South End with the details tonight. Jim? Well, Liam and Paula, the head of inspectional services for the city of Boston says years of wear and tear and seasonal weather damage can often be factors in cases like this. He says many Boston buildings are very old and he's urging owners to look them over closely. It's in unsafe and dangerous condition. You can see where the crack goes right through the brick. That's a stress fracture. An aging brick building in years of weather adding up to a dangerous combination here at 883 Harrison Ave. City inspectors back checking things out the day after bricks suddenly came tumbling down, hitting and injuring a woman walking down the street. She wasn't seriously hurt, but Boston's top inspector is sending a message to landlords. Check out your property. Boston is an old city. These masonry buildings need care. Uh, we're coming out of the winter. It's the freeze-thaw cycle that has the big effect on this. Uh, if you're a homeowner and you have questions or concerns, call us. We will come out. You are responsible to do this stuff. That's pretty high up. That could kill someone. One neighbor says his unit was just patched up, but he still feels uneasy. Well, it never crossed my mind, but this morning I was kind of looking above, making sure there's no bricks falling above. And probably put me in hospital, God forbid. The building owner was given a violation. Now, if that building isn't safely repaired right away, that owner would be hit with a fine. But cases like this do make the locals worry. This is not safe for the people to be walking these streets. I mean, it's bad enough with the violence in the street, but then you have to worry about getting hit with something that falls from the, from the top of the sky. As you can see, we still have bricks and other debris on the sidewalk here tonight. The area is still blocked off, but as we mentioned, the city wants this fixed. Live in Boston, Jim Smith, WBZ News. Jim, thank